So as far as solving algebraic inequalities, first of all, like what is an inequality, right? If you have 3x equals 6, nobody calls that an equality, but that's what it is because an inequality means not equal to. So it could be the same problem, but it would be 3x is greater than 6 or 3x is less than 6 or less than an equal or greater than equal. All four of these are inequalities, which just means they're not a straight up equal sign. And the good news is that if you're like half decent at algebra, then you're automatically good at solving these algebraic inequalities, right? So, so again, if you had a straight up normal problem like this, 3x minus 2 equals 4, well, you remember, you'd say, okay, okay, plus 2 plus 2, 3x equals 6. How do I get x alone? I'm going to divide both sides by 3, right? Oh, there you go, x equals 2. Now, if the same problem came up, but it was an inequality, right? So if you had 3x minus 2 is whatever, greater than 4, you do it identically. There's no like weird difference here. So you would still, oh, plus 2, plus 2. The difference is this sign just carries on being that sign. Don't mess with it. Carry it down. Don't change it to an equals, right? So you'd have 3x, 6, divide both sides by 3 right? X equals two. So you see how these were, oh, excuse me. Oh, I almost made the one mistake I warned you about. X is greater than two. So you see how there's no difference in algebra and then doing these algebraic inequalities, except for one fundamental difference, okay? There is one weirdness about it. Otherwise, remember my wisdom and my words. It's identical, except for the following situation. What if you had like, so you had 3x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 4x plus 7, right? And you know, whatever, I'm just going to do my thing. Ryan just said do my thing, right? So I'm going to go plus 4, right, plus 4. So I have 3x greater than or equal to 4x plus 11. Now, like I know because I'm an algebra master, I'm just going to get that 4x to the other side. Minus, minus 4x minus 4x. Look what happens. I'm left with a negative x greater than or equal to 11. So that's fine. I don't want to solve for negative x. I want to solve for x. So if I divide both sides by a negative 1, this is where it gets trippy. The only difference between inequalities and normal algebra is whenever you divide by a negative, not just dividing by negative 1. If you were dividing by negative 2, negative 3, anything. Whenever you divide by a negative, this sign flips right? The math problem is still the same. 11 divided by negative 1 is still a negative. That's not weird. But when you divide by a negative, this sign flips. And that's it. So that's the one like red alert that, that inequalities come with. Besides that, it is identical to algebra. So you can learn algebra and automatically be an expert at solving the algebraic inequalities, except for that one trippy situation. So I don't need to give you 400 examples, right? But I'll give you one more because we're friends, okay? So again, something really straightforward. Negative 3x less than 9. You're going to divide by negative 3. Divide by negative 3. Because I divided by negative, if I divided by a positive, the party's on, we don't change it. But because I divided by negative 3, x is now flip that sucker, boom, Negative 3, 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. Now we have x is greater than negative 3, and that's totally it. So that's how you do these, solving these, uh, these inequalities. And remember, at least now you even know what an inequality is, which means not equal to, which is greater than, less than, whatever. And if you're having a hard time with your math class at your local high school, you can take this online with Silicon Valley High School, pass it there, and the uh, credits will be transferred back to you.